All right, so I think this is looking pretty good. Um, and looking at your email, you mentioning uh, you're mentioning how you uh, you like to drop here. Now there are two things about oh, this, you and now. it kind of informs what we're gonna do with um, how we're gonna continue with the critique. Basically, you have this whole section with this guy at the beginning that feels fairly fairly real in terms of you know like Pixar cartoony real. It's not it's not overly snappy whereas you continue on and then suddenly during this section okay. so God. even the hit here is yeah. more like the humans in Toy Story 3 yeah. watch this yeah. right and go boom God. that starts to be a bit more exaggerated just mm, slightly in timing but then once you continue God. on and you go oh, poof, you that compared to the beginning it feels too fast because as you start the shot, this is kind of the style that you establish when you start something and you have him moving and then you got this guy moving. It just, it sets the tone for the rest of the shot. So when you have something like here, that feels a bit too snappy. It gets, not that it's bad, but you're getting into cloudy with a chance of meatballs or Madagascar type of timing. So you're going to have to decide if you're either going to slow this down or punch up other parts to make it a bit more snappy. For instance, it's not like you want to make this snappy because he's just breathing in and out. So I think this this can be okay. Whereas the other guy, when Malcolm comes out, for instance, as he brings his feet down, that could be maybe that could be exaggerated. You have the get up here fairly fast, but then how he gets into this pose could be. Not that you want to make everything faster, hey, I but I think it's mostly him that needs to get mm, get drawn more into that style. He has a bit more snappy potential. Someone I mean, it's also engaged. because it's, it's still in step mode. You know, little <laughs> moments where you could just punch it up a tiny bit. But I think he would be more... Malcolm is more inclined to be fitting to uh, if you want to fit that type of style here then you morpheus guy so i would say let me know let me know via email um what your thoughts are on that other than that if i look at this i think everything's pretty cool on uh, morpheus i like the beginning i like his keep alive i like how things are broken up um if i'd be super picky it would be so you have movement, 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 and then right here, right on his, th on his side here, on his thigh, and on his thigh, his side. Then it kind of dies a bit. I think you can continue a bit of the breathing, not crazy, but it just kind of continues as you go down. It continues to up and down because we don't want to distract from that guy coming out, obviously. So that would be a tiny little thing there. But I like how you got the turn. Let's see. Let's come frame by frame. Let's be all anal here. It's pretty good. I could still have a little bit of more uh, offset on these guys. I know the chair starts moving, and if the chair moves, this whole section moves, so both parts get affected more. But you know, it could be you could push one hand where one hand is just on it, and the other one is driving. Uh, the turn in my absolutely awesome arrow here. <laughs> so that one is a bit, you know, you have this thumb coming up, so it feels a bit bigger, but I think you can make one a bit more exaggerated. Or you lift one first, you know, it's kind of lifting up and then pushing over while this guy keeps resting in and just gets pulled along. That could be a way to make it a bit more offset. Um, I, n I see you have a bit more head drag, maybe a little bit. This still feels like it's one ginormous piece that's really off balance going forward. So I'm still not sure about this guy. I still think you can, if you can make it work where it's a bit more, you know, you got the hips here and legs here, but it's the rest is more kind of, more kind of like that. And then he's hunched over like this. So it's not just everything is dropping over this way. That was one of the notes from last time, and I thought you can make this a bit bigger. I like your your weight shift. It seems to be especially here. It seems more pronounced. It's just something about this drop, how everything moves forward. 
but it cuts well. I still, you know, if you could just, even if you just take your root and move everything back so that everything is, ends up being around here. You know, in my awesome drawing here. <laughs> uh, but that would be my thought on Morpheus. Now, as you hey, continue sports. here, there's something about this that feels a bit odd. It's always been there. And I was wondering, no, maybe, you know, stuff can change. And I don't know. It's, but the thing is, when you hit that pose, he is so spread out with his legs. And I think this would be, it just feels a bit too, not that you want to bend his legs like crazy. That, so he's always completely hunched over. But it feels like this is almost too stretched. And I think what you could do is, as you move over to this, he could kind of just bend that over and then maybe have a foot roll or just tilt the foot over to accentuate that that awkward stance but there's something about this wide stance that feels kind of odd uh, on a technical note just watch out your knees they are popping 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 especially during this section here got that guy boop, 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 boop. there's a lots of back and forth and acting wise what I would do oh, I heard someone got engaged yeah. you dog you want to make sure that we are always looking at the right person. So, as this guy turns around, this guy being Morpheus, hey, right? Sports. Uh, hey, sports. So, when he says that, hey, sports, we, with this forward movement, you're almost throwing the eye over here, and he starts talking, right? So, to me, the way he goes back here, that is almost too much. You want to keep it, either don't go as far, maybe halfway, and then on your way back, a third of that distance wise so that there's not much moving here that distracts from this guy here that would be my note on just on this section uh, I heard someone right. got so I'm going back to him because he's like what is he going to do if he moves around that much but I want to see his glee I want to see how he is such a Gage, sadistic uh, dog. Ah, boom uh, all right so he goes back yeah. tone that dog. down ah, no. that's fine and then oh, like I said this just feels too love. fast but, you know, as I said before, because of the style differences. So I would, you know, think about what you oh, want to do, no, which gonna... direction you want to go. But also you have how the Nazi goose step legs here. Oh, no, beep, beep, beep. Gonna... That's also very poppy, very fast. So you definitely start switching styles here. And on a technical gonna... note, as he ends, this breathing part feels too much like it's pose A. Breathing forward, pose B, but then back to A, and then back to B, blah blah blah. And you want to go, you want to go A to B to C to D to E to F, and so on and so on and so on, so that everything is always a bit different, so it doesn't look like a cycle. And looking at Malcolm, Malcolm, because the thing is, the way his timing is now. Like, to me, it would be better to keep everything you have and slow that section down here. Because I really like what you have um, at the beginning with both characters. But that is your call. Because I do like his little slow down here on the legs. I think this move, if we keep it more consistent with the beginning, I think his move as he goes forward right there is a bit fast. I would slow that down. Shoom. Also with the up, maybe two, three frames a bit sl slower. That gets a bit, it feels like you're popping and stopping, like your your root starts and then stops. It feels like it's going forward, but then stops and just goes sideways and forward again. So as you continue on, just watch out how your curves are and how it's not stop and go. And there's some pops in his elbows. I'm not sure if you're doing IK at this point. But just watch out, there's some technical pops in there, but Again, the overall timing I do like on this. It's here a bit fast, but then this feels like I like this, and I think you could. I think you could milk this moment a bit. He goes with this hand goes up, and then as you get up there, you're immediately knocking. So there are a couple of things here. Um, since you move this guy over, I will bring, if possible, I'm not sure how you're gonna do that, but you might want to. Yeah, keep this guy. The thing is, there's a tangent here. It gets a bit too close. So maybe have the fist around here. And you're just going to have to move him back a tiny bit. But I will bring the guy up here. And almost, you know, if that's his knocking position, I will bring the arm up all the way up to here. 
hold up for maybe, I don't know, let's see, maybe like 5 to 10 frames, then come down and then start the knock. So it's a bit more exaggerated, overshoot, and then back down for the knock. This feels right now too flowing right into, into all those moves together. Watch out, technical issues on your on your guy here. Beep beep. Kill okay, pops there. Hey, and get back sports. into the previous yeah. version, I believe. Boom. Oh, and as you do this again, just offset this a tiny bit. I do like how he has that together. Just you know, by a frame or two. Oh, probably two. Nothing can hurt you now. You're a man in love. And then once you get back there, I've mentioned that before, just bring out that fist a bit more so this fist is not in front of the mouth. Just in case that was lost <laughs> in the previous <laughs> critique. But that is it. You know, just let me know on your style. We can talk about it. See um, if you're going to do a blend. Maybe make it less snappy and less real. You know, we're kind of meet in the middle. But that is it. Alright. Let me know, as always, via email what you think. Thank you. Alright. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.